special guest in the green room. Oh, yeah. boy, boy, done. Oh, I see her. She might be getting ready. Yeah, ah! she's she getting ready. <laughs> Everybody's waiting for you, young lady. There's some people. Are you ready? We're going to we're gonna bring Chastity on. She's here bring now. Her on. Um, you got any Nature Boy music? Natural. You got any Vince McMahon walkout music? No, no Ric Flair music. Sadly. Dang, man. You have to start singing or something. I mean, dang. I got a new hormonal fan. My other one broke. And Connie got this for me. This thing's massive. I could cool y'all down over there at the beach. Boy, I tell you what. I ain't going to be hot uh, now. I hear mm -hmm. you. Did you say <laughs> a hormonal fan? Hormonal fan, yeah, that's what I call it. And I'm probably at okay. least 10 years out, but I can make the excuse now, right? That's right. <laughs> call it what you want to call it. That's <laughs> right. My How fan. <laughs> How y'all doing? I just said we need you we needed some walk-up music for you. We should have played something. Yeah. I'll get I'm gonna get y'all some theme music. We got for me to walk in. <laughs> yeah, we got yeah. some. Most of it's just not kid friendly. Yeah. Right, that's okay. <laughs> YouTube will, YouTube will knock us out if we use other music, though. Oh, I don't yeah, like yeah. that. What do you got to say? You know, you're not, you're not copying this music, or you don't own the rights to this music. Or uh -huh. so, yeah, know. they know. should do something about that where we could use little clips. You know, it just supports yeah. the artist. You figure they would. Yeah. So how's everything yeah. in your neck of the woods? We hadn't talked to you in a few weeks. Well, this is the least ready y'all ever see me on a live. I'm going to tell you what. It's been wild, wild, wide open. It's been great, though. And I'm doing it. Solving problems as they come. I'm getting her done. Hey, Trying to. Yeah. That's, that's all you can do. Yeah. One it's day. been a wild ride. The eclipse was great. Like, I had a great eclipse day. All the fear and the fear mongering and all that stuff. I don't know about everybody else, but I feel great. <laughs> I was going, I, I, that was a question I had for you tonight. So, so what about the eclipse? What, any any wild things happen? Anything noticed, you noticed that uh, we definitely wouldn't? Well, it was very powerful. Like, the energy was highly powerful. You could go outside. You could feel the energy shift if you're sensitive to energy. And there's a lot of people with high emotions right now. And matter of fact, like, when I got home about an hour before the live, I opened up Facebook. And I went to one of the – or I saw, like, one of those groups I'm a part of. And this person was typing, typing about how – um the eclipse energy is just not good and everybody stood out there and watched it and it's just the veil is thinning well no shit the veil is thinning i mean we're raising our consciousness the collective consciousness is raising and whether you want to jump on the train or not it's happening and people are opening up to the fact that there is an afterlife there are things that we can't explain and that's okay but as humans we have to explain things like we have to have answers, you know. So yeah. basically, um, I've had a lot of people contact me. I had one, um, I had one session planned yesterday, a paranormal guidance session, which went absolutely amazing, crazy haunting. Um, but we're plowing through it, and that was through lights at midnight. But I had three other people contact me for sessions because of like being overwhelmed and stuff. So wow. you may not notice wow. the energy if you can't feel it. And you'll notice it how people are reacting right now. You'll notice if people are like super uppity or they're sleeping forever or they're not sleeping at all. This energy is still 100% in effect. Matter of fact, I had this ready because I wanted to mention something about the eclipse too. So we're on the great minds think alike. And it uh -huh. says Wednesday, April 10th, the eclipse energies are still everywhere. They're about, they're all about allowing us to slip from one reality to another, particularly if our soul knows we've wandered off our path. Think of it as a sliding door. So, I mean, the energy is still very, very present and it's bringing up a lot of things from the past. So let me ask you this. Now, have you uh, had any people from the past give you a ring or message you, or have you had dreams about 
past situations, maybe even past relationships. Um, a lot of things, uh, Chiron, the wounded healer, was conjunct this eclipse in astrology. So basically uh, what that means is it's bringing up old wounds and whatever you're feeling right now, if you're kind of down in the dumps, you need to process these feelings and let them go because that's exactly what the universe is asking you to do is to let them go and you will feel so much better. I did a beautiful little spiritual practice and I somehow timed it out perfectly and I don't know. It's been a great change. My intuition even went further up. I channeled for about seven hours yesterday. So if you can't feel the energy, you'll notice it through other people or yourself by your wow. emotions. Yeah. I understand that. I don't think I've actually experienced anything that I, maybe I just haven't realized it, but I have been around some, uh, some, some situations. Uh, I'm trying to think if I've, if I've spoken to anybody I haven't spoken to in a long time. Yeah, Mercury mm -hmm. retrogrades right now, too, and everybody freaks out about that. But Mercury retrograde can bring technical issues. It can bring, um, you know, and all this has to do, in my opinion, it's not necessarily paranormal, but it's energy. That's what the paranormal is. That's what we are. And it affects us and the paranormal. The veil is thinning more paranormal stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I get it. I understand that. And it won't affect everybody the same, like, because... It depends on where the eclipse falls in your chart, on your astrology chart, and it also depends what planets it's hitting. So, like, astrology is a whole different beast. If you look at it, it looks like a foreign language and from some other, like, you know, time. It don't look normal. <laughs> it's hard to understand. It's a lifelong journey with that. So, But, yeah, the paranormal, I've had people have paranormal experiences, a lot of people. Oh, check it out. I like yeah, it. That's that's our new t-shirt. I want to play something for you. I want to get your take on this. I copied this from another paranormal site. I didn't copy it. I shared it. Um, but Kalani, the ghost hunter, I guess everybody knows him. Uh, why don't you, I want you to, I want you to listen to this and tell me, tell me your take on it. Okay. Okay. Oh shit. I'm going to turn there. There we go. Maybe it'll play with I did this thing, thing last, last year, year where every month I'd go live, live in a haunted location for a week, for a week set up camera agreement, agreement yeah, the entire yeah. time. And, and my wife, my wife it's just like just any like other investigation, investigation we're, doing we're doing it. Doing it. And, then and then some guy starts, starts coming through, his name is Raymond. I always ask what years is it for Like That's a question I've asked from the beginning because I feel like a lot of them don't realize they're dead if they're dead. It may not be dead. So he said 2082. 2082. I was like, that's in the... In the front of me, not front behind me. me. Yeah. He thought yeah. I was. A ghost. He thought I was. A ghost. So like he's so like, asking me to like. Wall. He thought I was the ghost. He thought I was the ghost for, in the same space that I was in now. I had this idea. I'm like, okay. So what's your grandfather's name? So your grandfather is probably on Facebook. I get on Facebook. I find the get on Facebook. I find the city that this dude said he was from. And then he's like deep in interdimensional travel and astral projection threads. And right when I found his right when I found his started scrolling on it, it said, "This is getting dangerous. I have to go. I have to go." And it just stopped. And it just stopped. I did this thing, did this thing last year last where every year, month I'd go month live in a yeah. location, location for. Did you get that? Yeah, and I've seen so it, seen and it. it's it's very possible. Yeah. It's very possible. Um, yeah, it's a very possible thing. Like I'm not going to say yes or no, of course, but I'll give you my opinion on it. Time is not linear. Time is more like if I had to describe time, it's more like layers like how we have sediment of layers in the earth time is kind of like that so it is said that whatever will happen has already happened somewhere else or we're, we're different people in different places and different dimensions and i'm i personally can say in my personal belief there's 100 percent other dimensions because that's how we interact with the paranormal when i remote view a place like walking around like i went to uh emily the fine art medium's house to like do some spiritual work and she has hardwood floors and as i was in that yeah. place and it's not something that i have to like go into like a you know like a um situation sometimes i can do it i just put myself there uh -huh. through visioning and i could feel i could literally feel because i was barefoot the cold hard wood on my feet now tell me how i did that and i mean it's 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 something to me too it's not i'm not bragging not trying to say anything crazy, but I mean, I felt the cold, hard wood on my feet. My feet got cold and I could feel like I was stepping on hardwood. That's so wild. if that's possible for me and my experience is perception. We're really only limited to where 
we think we are so much more and it's a hundred percent possible not a hundred percent it's very possible that you know he could be telling the truth i i believe him i don't i don't um i don't think he's lying but he's also like us you know there's and he seems like a good down-to-earth dude i would love to try to do a paranormal investigation with him one day yeah, I think he's cool. We've actually contacted him and, and uh, messaged with him a little bit. <clears throat> he's very leery of other paranormal people uh, because he's got uh, thousands and thousands and probably millions on. Uh, is, what's one of them? Uh, is it not? Is it Twitch? Yeah. Or I don't know. There's one of those platforms where you can do lives and it's known for playing game, yeah. game thing deal. Evidently, he's got like millions, Twitch. millions of followers. Um any, anyway, he, he's he's pretty down to earth guy. Uh, he actually went to a place. Are we allowed to say this? Yeah, we'll say it. We'll say it without saying it. So he actually like like three or four weeks before we showed up at a place to investigate a very big name place. He was there three or four weeks before we were, and um, they um, let's see, they didn't make him leave, but they weren't happy he was there. He was doing a lot of provoking and, and, and not being so nice, which is kind of out of his character for some of the videos I've seen him do. Yeah. So the owners wasn't happy he was there. Uh, and I shouldn't be gossiping. That's not what well, I mean. It's a good, it's a good talking point, though. It's a good talking point. Like, you don't want to be a butthole when you go paranormal investigating. You don't want to push the dead because they push back, you know, they once were people too, you know, and you don't want to overstep that line. It's like you get in that, that motion of YouTube and you get like, I got to have content. I need something for this week, you know, because yeah. this is your livelihood yeah. probably for him. And now he's probably like, you know, I got to get this. I got to get that. It's not about that. It's really not. And, you know, you, you have to come in with a calm demeanor. Yeah, You're really. more likely to get information. If they don't want to give it, they want to get it, give it, you know, there's spiritual laws and we have our own set of spiritual laws while we're alive, but there's also spiritual yeah. laws for the dead. I get it, but yeah. he, he is a down to earth guy. He, you know, he, he messaged us, you know, he, he actually started his business from nothing. Um, just like all of us have. So it's not like he jumped right into a, you know, on a, got on a team with millions of followers and just fell right in it. He started from nothing and done really well with it. So I, I, kudos to him. And he's from yeah, Nashville. Yeah, I mean, right? I think he's, he's pretty away. cool. Yeah, he is. He's got nice hair. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Angel. Hi, Angel. How's it going, hey. buddy? <laughs> I just took so, a moment to take, tell everybody, hey, on that's I typed it in. But yeah, um, so on my side, I got dead serious investigations in the chat. Um, yeah, Riley, yeah, Riley uh, is supposed to be going live live with us tomorrow at eleven thirty p.m. Sweet. on uh, so on y'all's channel. I don't know. Have you said you've talked to your dad about it? He probably. Ha I haven't heard anything. Oh about God, it. I talked to Mama about it. Mama, and I forgot to talk to Daddy about it. The main one I forgot. That's okay. Me, last time I checked, you were 25 years old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't know if you could join or not, Greg, because I figured you had to work, you said, in the mornings. Tomorrow morning? You got to work tomorrow or Friday morning? Like at what time? Well, we'll be going. I'm going to try to stay live for about two hours. I can't go any longer than that. But um, so yeah, you, dead, you dead serious. Morning. What time? So it'll be that's tomorrow night. So Friday morning, we'd it'd be from for us or for me at the very least, it'll be from 1130. We have to start at 1130 uh, p.m. because Dead Serious Investigations or Duran, he lives on the West Coast. Oh, wow. OK, cool. Yeah. So um, he's wanting uh, he asked me to go live with him. And then he asked Riley if and you if you wanted to go live. But. I wasn't sure. I knew Riley might be up, but I didn't know if you could uh, join us or not because of your schedule. Is that tomorrow night? Yeah. Yeah. I'll try to stay awake. Okay. I'll try to, I'll try to stay awake. I'll keep him awake. Sadly, I got um, Friday morning. Let's see. So Friday morning, I'll, I'll leave and go start. Y'all can laugh now if you want to. I go start making donuts at 4.15 a.m. No, that's, oh, I'm not laughing at all. I want to come eat one. 
Ah, they're good. <laughs> they're, they're really good. I'm not just saying it because I, I help make them, but they're good. Um, That's a beautiful, well, it's a beautiful life when you can run your own business and, you know, enjoy what yeah. you do. It's tough. Don't get me wrong, but. Yeah, it's not, it's all, it's, it's not all easy. It's, you know, every, the best part about owning your own business is if you're having a bad day, you mm -hmm. can turn the lights off and shut the door and go home and try it again the next day. Mm -hmm. uh, and you don't have anybody but the government mm -hmm. you got to pay taxes to, to tell you what to do. Yeah, you, play plenty, <laughs> you, you pay plenty of those, yeah. that's for sure. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, Dylan, he has been in Europe for the last month. Talking about Kalani, he's been a he's been in Europe, man. He's been everywhere for the last month. He's been man, that's the life. Yeah, he's like, I mean, he's going everywhere. Good for him though. I'm glad he can do it. I mean, it just shows yeah. if, he yeah. can, if he can do it, we can we do it. Can do it. Uh -huh. you know, he can do it. He just uh he's probably way more talented than we are with the uh new hip what I call it hip. <laughs> That's not even a word anymore. With yeah. new, new what? Not like your hip hips, but bussing. Like it's bussing. That's the new stuff, or maybe that's even old now. What's the new know, word, kids? Sound, yeah, <laughs> I, I don't know. He knows social media. How about that? Yeah, I not the day. You, we're gonna get. We're gonna get y'all. I'm swear. I'm gonna try to do everything I can to help y'all get out there because I think, I think this year's gonna be big for y'all. I think so. I think y'all yeah. gonna make a lot of progress. Will it? I mean, will it like go completely bonkers? It might, but I think y'all are going to get a lot more content out. That's my prediction. We're definitely going to. We want to. We're way behind yeah. on that. We really like, yeah. a, like if you follow us any at all, you know, we talk about all the uh, inventory of videos and, and different things we have. We could make us not. I don't mean make money. I mean, make so much material to put out. It's, it's scary. Yeah, uh, and we need we to do could. something with it before it gets gone, or we lose it, or we mess it up, or we erase it. You know. Yeah, we should. Somebody, somebody was up here asking um, questions about you a little while ago. I was oh, I'm sorry, were, I missed it. They were asking for a reading of some type. I hope. Yeah, just if anybody's interested in a reading, you can always email me. Email me at luminarylunabeams at gmail dot com. Um, it's luminary. Luna beams, just as it sounds, or you can, you can literally type that in on Google and you'll find my link tree. You'll see my big head and it'll, it should be a picture. It's either going to be like an orange picture with my face with like a black background, or it should be that blue moon with me. Like, <laughs> so you'll find me the luminary Luna beams. There's nobody else that uses that tag name and spirit gave me that name too. spirit gave me that name and nobody else uh on social media at all uses it so that was crazy yeah we're three hours ahead of you dead serious yeah and i'm, and I'm dead serious about that <laughs> he's got <laughs> a lot of cool things that he wants to talk about sees the haunted objects guy like he does paranormal investigations has a lot of evidence very intellectual um has had a lot of experiences and um i think if you haven't heard our podcast, guys, I know Riley, you have been listening, but you haven't heard like the podcast on Lights at Midnight episode four and five. That's that's Duran. And I think uh, y'all will definitely enjoy having a good conversation with him. There's always something that me and him learn from each other. And yeah, it's it's crazy. It's good. Good combo. That's good. because That's that's kind of that's that's how we feel about you. I know you'll help us with what we do and we'll learn yeah. a lot from you. Yep. And it's a, yeah, I think this is all, you know, this whole like community and networking thing is all about switching ideas and, you know, just kind of giving each other yeah. a hand wherever you can. I think that's the beautiful thing about the paranormal community, because there's a lot of people willing to do that. But then there's some people, unfortunately, that, you know, this is a little different situation, which we're not going to talk about. And I don't yeah. have anybody in mind, but I just stories I've heard and. You know, but yeah. so far I found that there is a there's I've met so many great people since I started doing this. I've never mm -hmm. had so many friends in my life that are far away or even in life that I could relate to. They're all online. And y'all, I just found, you know, found y'all by uh, Facebook. And here we are now. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. And you know what, guys, I know they've probably already talked about it. And I'm sure some folks are over on y'all's YouTube because I've been noticing some of my uh, listeners. If y'all are interested, they go live every Wednesday at eight o'clock on their YouTube and their Facebook. So definitely give them a give them a watchy if you got, you know, you want to and keep up to date with what they've got going on because uh, they're always doing something. 
they always got something brewing. So yeah, definitely, I mean, uh, if y'all are interested in my subscribers, definitely go subscribe to their stuff. And um, I have the link on my, on one of my community tabs. Sweet. That's good. We, um, that's awesome. So I have the option every Wednesday night. We have the option uh, with uh, StreamYard platform that we're going live from now to stream on different platforms. And YouTube just happens to be one. So it's still, it does still stream to the, uh, what we call the old page. Mm -hmm. Sadly, because we haven't got the new page linked to it yet. Maybe we won't. Maybe we just clean up the old page. I don't know. Yeah, I've been talking to Riley a little bit about it, and I want to talk yeah. to you about it too one day, as sooner than later. At the event, yeah. I'm going to be so busy, guys, and I know y'all probably already talked about it, but the event is this Saturday. That's yeah, why yeah. I probably look like a hot mess because I've just been dabbling and doing and trying to get everything done. But I probably will be, besides the event planners, I think the psychic readers will be probably the most busy because I think I mean, it's going to be about a thousand people at least that show up because. There's 245 people going on Facebook, right? And from my experience, I've got 10 years of event experience okay. and you always times that by like three because most people don't go by themselves, you know, they, and it's affordable. Excuse me. <laughs> I drank some soda. It's not too expensive. So it's $10 in advance for your tickets and then it's $15 at the door. So um, if anybody, I know there's a couple or at least one of the subscribers that are going, I think, um, but most of the folks I know are all the way on the other side of the country mm. or north. Wow. I'm really excited because we get to meet each other. So, yeah, yeah. I get to meet yeah. Halo and you guys. I haven't spoke to Halo. I, actually, Halo, I don't think Halo's going. Uh, oh, don't. well, she told me last time or a couple days ago she would, but maybe that changed. Yeah, she's got a lot going on personally right now, family wise. and Yeah. Um, yeah, she's got a new baby, a new a, a puppy baby, a puppy, four legged baby, and I think she's she doesn't have anyone to keep it Saturday. Oh, so, okay. So I think she, yeah. she's she's welcome to go with us for sure, but uh, I don't think I don't know if she if she can work it out fine. If not, we understand. Yeah, so right. Looks like it'll be just Dylan, myself, and Riley. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm sure I'll get to meet her one day. Yeah, I know she's gonna be sad. Was well, she? She's still planning to go to Henry River, I think. As far as I know, cool. yeah, she is. Which is only two weeks away, by the way, everybody. Mm -hmm. Henry River Mill Village, two weeks away. It'll be on the what? The twentieth? Yeah, twentieth. I know we're looking forward to that one also. We have yeah, our confirmation. Sorry. Everything's been paid. Okay. So all, we, all we gotta do is show up. And then all right. Once we get back from that, when as soon as my butt. Lands in the c computer chair. I will be reserving a time spot at Brushy Mountain State Penitentiary. So for, that, that's going to be in October. We're going to find something. Um, we're going to find so. Let's see. This is man. We're way too busy, really. So this weekend is the <laughs> Parafest at the Trivet Clinic. Excuse me, Trivet. We're not busy enough. Yeah, we are. So, <laughs> for vet clinic. Then the following weekend, the twentieth, we'll be at Henry River, and then uh, I gotta find somewhere for the next weekend to go. And I'm sure we will work <laughs> for the next weekend. Then the following week, we're gonna be in Florida for a whole week. So oh, we gotta cool. find we gotta find somewhere to go in Florida. So if anybody knows any haunted places, I got um, you. We will, we're in going, Florida. We'll be in the Orlando area and we're going to turn down south oh. and turn it out there for a whole week. Yeah. I will reach out to 305 Paranormal. They don't live in Orlando, but they live in Miami and they may wow. be able to help you out. And that's what I was telling Riley. Like, Instagram is where it's at to connect with other uh, paranormal investigators. Okay. So you got to get on that Instagram and um, I can kind of help you link up with some folks that when y'all start traveling and stuff, like I know people yeah. from all kinds of places now that I have like a pretty good, at least I can message them and I'll hear back from them that I'm at least on talking terms with or they're good friends. So I will, um, yeah. I will ask 305 Paranormal for you, which I'm going live with them the 21st of April on the, I don't think it'll be on my streaming here. It'll be with them on their channel, 305 Paranormal, which is perfectly yeah. fine because uh, I'd like to, they're really cool. They go do investigations and stuff too. So that's exciting. There's, oh, um, you know what? 
uh, going down there, it's uh, Casadega, Florida. It's 30 minutes off of, um, and I tried to go when I went to Florida in January, but the place closed before we made it all the way back up from uh, Miami. But basically, Casadega, Florida, um, it's just like Casadega, New York. It's a little like psychic town, right? But they have a yeah. um, museum with all haunted objects. And it's like, it was oh, like a big, God. I'll send you the link. Let me look it up. Um, yeah, let's look to. it up and I'll send you the link. I mean, I mean, every town in America has got, got some paranormal activity. Let's just face it. Uh, so we got, we got to be able to find something. Now we yeah. can't, we can't uh, ghost hunt all week because the family won't like it, but we're going, we're going, <laughs> we're going to put some time in there. There's not yeah. many times we don't leave without a recorder or uh, something in a pocket. We yeah. keep we keep something with us because you never know, right? Uh huh. I tell you, we have got more EVPs in in locations when we're not even trying. You know, just in an ordinary location that you think nothing's going on. Yeah. Stand a recorder and just let it play. One hundred percent. You'll be surprised at what you hear yeah. when you play it back later. I think this is it. Yeah, um, I mean, you can. You're never alone. Let Let's get this. Let's get this straight right now. If anybody thinks they're alone, you're yeah. never alone. First and foremost, you always have the higher power and whatever that looks like for you. Second of all, spirits and energies, any elemental energies. It's not just human spirits that is out there. Human spirits uh -huh. technically can exist in the same, but also there's different dimensions for different things that pierce our veil. And just like Connie said earlier, <clears throat> she's exactly right. The way that I see it too is like the, it's like we have energy grids, right? There, It's like a grid. Mm -hmm. That's how I visualize it. Could it look different? Absolutely. It's just the only way I know how to explain it. And these grids, the more they get broken down, they'll have like cracks or like really like bends in space time, like warps, yeah. you know, like it would be warped. And it's almost like you have, um, think about it this way. You have your energy grids warped and in this other, you know, veil behind the veil, we have spirits and entities and all kinds of stuff uh, within different layers of vibration. It gets really deep. OK, uh, but uh, basically when that warps, think of it as like an open door with a light on when you're in a dark room. It just lets things come in and certain things are more powerful and have more energy than certain things. So they kind of can rule the roost of that door. That's where you have portals. That's how you get a portal. Right. Okay. Yeah. It's just a way of explaining it. Does it exactly look like that? Like if you were to see it with your own eyes, maybe not, it might look different, but that's the thing about psychic interpretation or just general interpretation. When we have intuitive feelings, we're all able to have them. We all get gut feelings. And that's just kind of what it's it's been shown to me, and I've I've had it validated by mediums that have done this way longer than me too. So, and I got that from spirit, and then I learned more from other people. That's the beauty of networking. Absolutely. Oh yeah. Like I'm I said, we're, we're still learning. There's so, there's so much that's above our head. Yeah. yeah. And, and oh, I'm, trust me, I'm still learning. <laughs> it never ends. I'm still trying to get over the fact. I'm still trying to get over the fact that I can still be thrown up against the wall by something unseen. Yeah. And it and I'm three months away from that happening. Or that? longer. That's uh, insane. Yeah. So how exactly I've not heard the full story. I'm sure you've shared it, but you don't have to now, but would you mind telling me exactly what happened? Yeah. I can do that. Okay. What's the name of the prayer that we said that night? What, the Lord's Prayer? Yeah. Yeah, never mind. That's right. <laughs> I didn't know if it was something else. But no, yeah, chastity. We were, we were at the Purgatory House in Kingston we always talk about. And... We were getting some threatening communication coming over the spirit box. So, and Dylan was getting some crazy stuff through the, he had the headphones on playing the white noise. We were doing the Estes method, so Dylan had no clue what was going on and around him. He stood up and just said he got touched 
And then, then after that, we heard another threatening voice come through. So we all stood together and we started saying the Lord's Prayer out loud. And we must have pissed something off because literally like, a good verse into the Lord's Prayer. I got thrown up against the wall behind me. Yeah, he got so killed. did you come like off the ground? I, or did they I push was, you? I was a I was a good I just got a good shove. Okay. The wall, God, the wall was behind him. The wall caught him. Yeah. yeah. I mean it was loud enough my Daddy was worried, like I fell or something. Yeah, I thought he was down. Cause you know we're in a dark I, place. Were you getting two responses from two specific spirits? We were. Yeah, yeah, because there's two. Because the I'm going yeah. back into that. I'm tapping in through those layers. How you can go back and forth through time with your yeah. intuition, like that thing you played. That's what I'm doing. Tapping into that, I see like a an angry man that is he basically the messaging I got from that was, is the angry man. He's upset because he's not on the other side. He's not, you know, he's not on the other side. So he's having his own battles in his spirit form because he wasn't taken home. Like he was promised. He's, uh, or he he's, wasn't, he wasn't in heaven or hell. So why am I here? So he's this isn't heaven or this isn't hell. That's what he's, he's, it's like what he's saying. He's controlling a, what she told us, a nine-year-old little girl in there named Emily. He's controlling her in there. Um, oh, yeah. He really, That's the same he one. Really, he re, yeah, same one. He really got upset and started threatening probably her. We didn't hear that part, but the things that were coming to us were uh, he started uh, throwing things, pushing people. Um, we heard, uh, we heard footsteps running around us into another room, which now we feel like was the little girl running from that guy. Yeah. Um, but we also, he started, um, threatening, uh, he was going to kill us. Death was upon us. Yeah. Um, and he started moving things and, and, and throwing things. And he slammed a door right in my dad's face. Right in my face. It was to the point... It so what uh, I was saying, I just got an image of red eyes. Do you get, do you get any like red orbs or have you got anything associated around the color red? I don't think so. Other than, other than when I think of red, I think of dread, fear. Um, he tries to intimidate, uh, by far this dude, um, he is negative. So, so, and look, and, and a lot of people, so here's the thing. I, I want to make this, make sure everybody understands. 90% of the places that we go in and, and investigate are not negative at all. Um, some of them, we don't communicate with any spirit. Sadly, it just don't happen everywhere we go. Okay. But when it does, I'd say 90% of the time, maybe not quite 90. It's, it's a good always idea. a good spirit, good communication. And it's almost like a year, year we communicate with spirits who have no clue what's going on. Why am I here? Can you help me? Uh, yeah. we, we get that. We get the word. We get help. Help me all the time. All of the time. But the few places that we speak of that have been negative <laughs> have been real negative. Okay. Very, if that makes any sense. Negative. It's just like, it's not like a little pissed off. It's like really bad negative. Okay. It's like, I'm going to kill you dead. Yeah, we, just for yeah. Here. yeah, so when it gets really bad like that, that's definitely poltergeist plus. I think it was heading toward more. Um, got my attention. Yeah. And, and especially and, when the daggone open marks started appearing on my arms. But I, but I, yeah, on my back. But see, here's the difference though. So we've been in this same location many times. Yeah. And the first time I'm not going to lie, I was probably scared. So I may appear weak to this, this person. So when you appear weak, you're the first one that's going to get something. He's going to take advantage of you. Okay. Yeah. So I realized right quick that I, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't act like my mind was wanting me to feel or the way I was feeling. Okay. But the last few times when he got ugly, I was like, dude, I'm not, I'm not scared. 
you can threaten all you want, but I'm not scared. But it didn't stop this spirit. Most of the time, they'll move on to the next person. Yeah. This dude's nasty. Okay. He wouldn't like me. No, he wouldn't. He probably wouldn't. No, he, he would not like. Would. I mean, he ain't gonna like me anyways. But I'm gonna be double trouble. And you were double trouble when you started bringing in the Lord's prayer because the type of light that comes in with that prayer and what it really means means he has to leave and he does not want to leave. And dead serious investigations, like wow, very ter territorial spirit. Facts, very territorial. Like super facts. Um, yeah, very territorial. I can't say that I wouldn't. I would love to go, but it would probably be either you wouldn't hear anything at all or it'd be a battle to the death. Uh, I say bring it. Well, and that's another thing. So we've talked about going back. We keep saying one more time, the, the magic one more time, and this will be six times later. So we're, we're going to go back one more time. Um, you might as well and, go with us, Chastity. I mean, what I'm, what I'm getting at. I wish I could. We keep, Maybe. We're, we're worried that we keep talking about it. And we're going to take someone like it's happened before. We'll take a guest or something and nothing happens. And it's always a place that has never let us down. But this time, six times we've been here, it hasn't let us down. And I don't, yeah. I do not think it will. I actually think it'll be even more. I think it'll be worse because in, in places like this, what, what brings out spirits even more makes them um, more angry, more, uh, just nasty. No, no, absolutely not. Think about it. When you go to a place that they started remodeling. Oh. So this, renovation. So exactly. So renovating old old places, or it doesn't have to be old. Um, just makes the spirit activity. It heightens spirit so, activity. Yeah, off the chart. So I, I got a feeling this place. They've been they've been remodeling around this place, cleaning the land up and. Uh, cleaning out this place. Okay. I, I, I think. So I don't know how somebody hasn't turned up dead yet. I, yeah, I don't. I don't. You know, I don't know about that. I, I, I'm curious how far can it go. I don't know if I don't know if he if he has enough energy to kill you, but I think he has enough energy to make, to make you, you do, to, to do something to make you remember who it is and well, who well, you don't need to mess with. Yeah, but I'm talking well, about the, negative, the dread that he can make put on yourself. Yeah, the way, you can feel it when you walk through the door of this place. You might not even have to walk through the door, of Chastity. No, I, he's all. I can already like. I have a. It's not quite like an energy thread, but I can. I can feel it. He's all. I've already seen some things. Like as y'all have talked about it, I already have somewhat, somewhat an energetic link. Uh, I guess you could say a thread to that place. Um, it's not. Any, he's not going to come here and mess with me, or even mess with me from there. But he does. Basically, when y'all were talking about we're going to go back one more time, I heard you've got a surprise for you. And I saw a present that's uh, visually in my mind's eye, I saw a present and I heard not with my ears, but a thought that wasn't my own. You've got a present. Well, good. I'm ready to open it. Yeah. yeah. So be <laughs> we're, careful. We're, we're going, like I said, we're, we're going to go one more time. Yeah, we are. I, I, I haven't been able to catch. So there's new owners of this place. The word is it's, it's supposed to be torn down already. So I'm trying to catch them and uh, and get permission to go in there. It's kind of a dangerous place um, as far as physically the place is in despair. It just uh, looks like to me in my mind's eye, it, the way it looks is like the walls are, it's like down to like where you, the, what's it called? Uh, drywall, like the drywall's gone and it's just a bunch of dark wood. It's um and and the so some of it is you know actually so it's a dark brown brick house. If you ride by it, you would you wouldn't. It's actually probably a very nice looking home back back when it was really clean. Probably a nice looking home, yeah. but it looks dark. Um, it's boarded up naturally to keep, and it was boarded up to keep people out. Um, but on the inside, someone it almost looks like. And I don't know nothing about a cult. It looks like a cult activity yeah. is taking place. Someone's I'm sure all kinds of sigils, uh, all yeah. kinds of things on the walls, um, all kinds of di diagrams and images of things. I have no clue what it is. Have you ever heard of a toba? Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. That's a that, thought form created by yeah. somebody that practices uh, certain yeah. things. Yeah. And you focus on it. You paint a sigil on the wall, focus hard enough on that sigil and get enough people thinking about it strong enough. You can bring a thought to life. Absolutely. That, yeah, that's what was painted on the wall in there. Like, uh, in see that because I'm sitting here thinking, was, like it, something don't seem right about about it being like just a man. Like that's what I've been sitting here thinking about. Yeah. So Here's it's possible. More. So in the last two weeks, I haven't even told Riley this. I actually found out who used to live in the home uh, 30, 40 years ago. Huh? I found out who lived in the home. So I've been trying to find. Some old history, some people were talking about someone shot herself in there. So it must have happened early on because the the last family that lived there, they're nice people. They're still alive. The lady I talked to who said, Hey, I know that these are those people. Hey, their their son is uh, he lives right down the road. We can talk to him about it. She said nothing bad ever happened in that home. They never experienced anything. I so felt- I'm curious. I'm curious yeah. now. So why? Why now? If, yeah, because they yeah. opened up the freaking portal in there and brought in all kinds yeah. of craziness. If y'all have sigils, even if somebody just went in there and played around, that's one thing. But the way y'all are describing it, they're intentional sigils. Like, so yeah. they knew what they, well, maybe they didn't know exactly what they were doing, but they knew what intent they had. When you yeah. open up that kind of stuff, you leave a tear in this energy grid and it's from a darker level. So when you're yeah. talking about realms, you have descended and ascended and they're multi-layered. So the denser, the heavier, the more negative the energy the quote-unquote lower it falls the lower the realm it's like layered cake basically so when you dig down and you use these sacred symbols and stuff like you can use that for positive or you can use that for negative and I'm sitting here as you're sitting here saying this I feel kind of I should have said it but I feel like when somebody lived there there might have been some things but I don't feel like this thing has been there the whole time the thing is even if they tear this house down like you know the fact that this this is going to be territorial over the land This is not going to just be over the house. I guarantee if there's any houses near it, are they building a housing complex or something on it? Or they're going to build. uh, Uh, Let me turn his volume down. So that is so weird. You say that. So within rocks throwing distance of this property, they're building apartment complexes behind it. right now. They're almost finished with them. Yeah. I feel sorry for those people because generally when you pull something in, like it, it pre- it's presenting as male and I don't want to say it's a earth. A de- it could be a descended earthbound spirit, but it's leaning by the description more so to something darker and thought sure. form for sure. But to have that power, thought forms have to manifest over a long time. Even if you put enough intention in it with enough people, it might become powerful enough, but thought forms, they kind of have to like grow, you know, they have to have time yeah. to, siphon and that's a whole nother whole nother subject but whatever this is like i think the little girl i don't think she's real we wondered if we were being manipulated by a little girl yeah we were wondering the whole time if we were uh we've thought that the whole time have we not this little girl actually we have her on camera sit in halo's lap yeah she moved cat balls on the floor for us she got she she did everything halo asked her to do yeah on command it was that was the first probably the first second time we used halo in a place where we thought there was a little girl because we knew the little girl previous times she wouldn't have anything to do with us which made me think that's the man that's the you know that's the male spirit in there um not wanting to communicate with us but yeah she came back boom there's the little girl we say, if you're, you know, uh, Emily, if this is you, will you roll these cat balls across the floor? They start rolling across the floor. Yeah. Emily, and see, you know, that's crazy. Yeah. And see, so, yeah. Halo, she's got even more light. Like we all carry light, but she's kind of like a wide open book here. So naturally, anything that's there is going to gravitate towards her. I just, I can't. I, 
I don't want to say for a hundred percent fact it's not a little girl, but every everything's pointing towards it, like ninety percent of it not being a real little girl. But yeah. thought forms, darker thought forms, have no problem manifesting things. They can manifest anything. There's no, mm-hmm. there's not too many limits, and he could be making this as a funnel of energy. So. Have you ever noticed that the little girl might, this is, this is what spirit's saying. Have you ever noticed that the little girl may like manifest before him? And then once you've interacted with her for a little while, he might come in and act like he's doing this, that, and the other, and then he'll pop off and she'll run away. But do you communicate with her first? Absolutely. We communicate it's with him. her first. It's him. What that's his yeah. trap. It's like a booby <laughs> trap. It's, think of it. If you're a rabbit hunter and you're setting up a rabbit mm-hmm. trap in the woods, yeah. These things are manipulative. These things so mean the business. Time, the whole time we've been, we deal, we have all questioned, are we really dealing with a little girl? Yeah. Is and that, if you feel that way, we're not. you feel it right here. You know, yeah. we yeah. even talk, we even, we even, um, not the last time, the time before we, we didn't threaten. Okay. We didn't threaten. We did not provoke, but we were like, we know there's not a little girl here. We know it's you. Um, we know it's you messing with us, and he did not like that at all. Yeah, and then it seems so real because we uh across the spirit box, it sounded just like a tiny little girl. Yeah, said so, um, and it and you you get words on spirit boxes. So when you get good communication, you get two words, three words. If you get a sentence, you really have something. Yeah. But she said, I'm nine years old in the sweetest, tiniest little girl's voice you've ever heard. I'm right. Even, I'm nine years old. I can't she talk about the little girl. Nine. To the point where we were all, holy cow, it is a girl. Or is it? You know? Yeah. Because we've caught this thing on our camera also. We we've caught him in there. And I and I'll be honest with you. And he's, he's freaking at least it's seven a, foot he, tall. He's huge. He, he's, he he, I see it as being really right wide, and he's got like these muscles that have veins, and he almost uh, looks green. Yeah. He's big. He, he was we caught him in a corner. He let us see him. I say he let us see him. We saw an image. We saw a, a image of him, and he was standing right beside our partner Dylan. Yeah, who's at least a good six. Dylan's six foot, but Dylan is Dylan is wide. He's a big guy, and this guy made him look tiny. Yeah, he made him look tiny. Now I'm curious, same thing. So can he manifest himself to be anything he wants? I'm a man. He can. Ma- he can. He can manifest himself to be anything he wants, but he's not just manifesting himself. He's literally create. This is how I interpret it. Okay, Uh, people in the chat, feel free to chime in if you got any different opinion. Love to hear it. I think he is projecting this little girl so he can exist and she can exist at the same time. It's literally just him making his own kind of like a thought form, like a topa, like you're talking about. That is his. That's what the darkness, dark things will do that and the power that he has. But there's two, though. I feel like there's two. So that might be why I got the two because I'm picking up them separately because I got that first. But they could be of the same because you're getting into th- you're getting into the realm of how, in my personal opinion, and I've got I still I got that thing to release with Dead Serious Investigations, but I've got some stuff I've got to film about my personal opinion about haunted objects. Um, yeah. And you're getting into haunted object territory and the way that stuff kind of works too because they can project yeah. they can be somewhere. It's not even like just the object. So it's the same principle, like a doll's haunted. Well, it's not necessarily in the doll. It's near the doll, around the doll. It stays with that yeah. object because that's where it gets its food, right? Yeah. So, and I tried to explain that to like this girl on YouTube named Chris Starr. She does little paranormal investigations and stuff. And she's she's pretty popular. She's not like up there. She's done stuff with Kelsey Davies, but um, she's sweet and stuff, but she has so much light and so much potential, but she still doesn't understand. I think how a lot of it works, which is fine. You don't, it's not not saying I'm right. And she's wrong. I just tried to give her some advice because she was talking about her on a haunted objects and how she locked it up inside of this thing. And I'm like, it's not with the doll, you know, it's not in, Mm -hmm. it'll stay with the doll. Can it still move depending on like what you do? There's ways that 
you can, you know, control stuff like that to a degree, but you yeah. know, it's, 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 it's a lot. It's a lot. I'm just going to leave it there. But I yeah. tried to explain that to her and I never got a response, of course. But I mean, I told her I'd even uh -huh. help her with it because the way she sounded, it was scared and I believed her. Haunted objects are nothing to deal with, uh, nothing to play around with. And they're they're on a different level than uh, even a haunting. So it makes it's that kind of energy. It's not it's not the same as haunted objects. I'm referencing because, you know, I got a little bit of the ADHD. I got a little tad of it. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's on the same <laughs> level is what I'm trying to say as dark stuff, like because it, it gets really deep in what people would refer to as demonic. There are yeah. demons, in my opinion, but the, the big, bad, super scary demons, um, they exist and they they are around and like these big possessions and stuff like that they do happen but it's not as frequently as everybody thinks but that type of energy you're dealing with uh, dealing with the thing about demonic energy is they talk to you in your mind i've had them talk to me they mess with you they can cause accidents like they can they can kind of mm -hmm. set things up for things to be a certain way and if they they wait they're patient and they find this little crack. You'll be fine. You'll be strong, but they wait for the perfect, perfect opportunity to find just a little crack in your emotions, just a little bit. Something's brought up from the past or you're depressed. And the next thing you know, you're in shambles in your, in your body, in your mind and your spirit. And that's how, you know, you're under, you know, uh, oppression. Like, and that thing at that house, if you hung around long enough and, I feel, I don't know why I'm talking about this. I just go with it, right? So that little yeah. present they're talking about, they're tearing down that place. Be sure to bring what, like your sage and uh, holy oil and stuff with you. And before you even step foot in your car, sage yourself, sage your stuff and put holy oil. Like I put it on my forehead. You can put it in the shape of a cross. You can put it in a dot. Sometimes I even put it on every one of my chakras, both my shoulders, both my hips and both my ankles. So nothing, it creates a whole barrier and I bring in the white light. I would even sage my stuff because I just feel like if that thing wanted to come back with y'all and start messing with y'all, it could if it wanted to. We've yeah. thought we've thought that very same thing. Um, that's probably the Savannah Honing House and and that that place in particular. I actually feel worse from it than than the Georgia Hung. But I actually thought about it there. I was I, I wasn't worried, but it was on my mind, dude. I, yeah. This thing has enough energy it can it can come with us no matter what we say you know what i mean yeah because we it can about but it. see the it can and it can try but the beautiful thing is is once you understand like how, you don't have to have a great understanding but once you understand how energy works when your vibration is high and it's so low i can be around stuff like that and become affected but knock it off because we have first of all we have the the highest of the high on our side. Second of all, your vibration, if you're up here and it's down here, can it try to bring you down? Yeah, that's what it does. That's how, why you have the different stages of possession. You have to get to a certain vibration to give up before it really can take full hold of you. And if you can notice the signs and symptoms when they start, you can correct it. And everybody has a different mm -hmm. experience with it. I know that, but that's the beautiful thing. It's like something comes in, and it's gone. Like right now we're having something go on with my fiance and like this little short shadow thing that's wanting to kind of, that's been around for a while that he's dealing with. Right. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to push yeah. it out. Okay. So uh, that's something that I'm dealing with right now. It's not super prevalent though. It doesn't mess with me. It doesn't do anything crazy. Like every once in a while, something will go missing, but I push that stuff out. But see, that goes to show you too, that the end it's up to the individual too. So when you're having a haunting and everybody's in the house, everybody has to be on board. And I'm not saying he's not, it's just something that's kind of resurfaced kind of since the eclipse a little before. Yeah. And um, you have to deal with that kind of stuff and everybody's got to be on board or your chances of getting rid of it go down. Yeah, yeah. We, we definitely, when we go, when we go in this home, <clears throat> especially the last two or three times after we really realized what we got going on, which is nothing, we don't take it lightly, um, especially at this place where uh, the power of God is with us. And we and we let him know as soon as we walk in the door, um, we, we've learned we don't wait till we're in trouble. You know, we're coming in. Yeah. Um, but I, it is an uneasy feeling in that hole. 
It really is. But yeah. it's not, you know, it's not the first place we've been in like that. It may be it's as it's as strong as any place we've been. It's yeah. as been strong as any place we paid crazy money to go investigate. Except right. The first, except the first ever house I ever went in for That's a bad one too, yeah. Well, I and, I and I think about this place too. So not the last time when Halo went for her first time. The previous time we took one of our original members. He hasn't been in a while. Yeah. And we took him. And before we left, he was sitting in the middle of the floor in this place crying like a baby. So so he had he he had his mind on uh playing with a Ouija board while we were in there. And before and I and I'm not laughing at him because it actually <laughs> And actually, I thought when he did it, I looked down because it's dark. I'm like, dude, David, there is no way in hell you're playing with a Ouija board up in here around all of us with this place. I said, and it, was, and it wasn't, it wasn't 30 minutes. It wasn't 30 seconds later. He was in tears. We had to get him out of the house. Yeah. He said, man, I've never, I, I don't know what's wrong. I said, I, to me, I know what's wrong. The, you know, the, the spirits got him and it had him. So, and he hasn't been back. We hadn't seen that. Yeah. He's kind of he's he got on the other night and and I wanted to ask him how was he doing, but uh, I knew yeah. after that night that um that that thing got him. It got yeah. him. I call it a thing. That thing got him. Yeah. Kind of like Halo a few weeks ago at the uh, at the the other place we went to. I told you that the spirit there had its way with her. I yeah, her. and so when I'm going to, I'm going to preface this when I go to this place uh, next weekend, when I get in tune, I don't take on, uh, I don't necessarily take on the characteristics of like the spirit I may be communicating with. I normally only communicate with high vibrational spirits, but I do, I have, and I will be communicating with, you know, earthbound spirits, right? I don't yeah. particularly intend on communicating with anything super dark that day naturally, right? But when yeah. you deal, when you're an intuitive, right? So Dave probably is a little more in tune with his, like his intuitive side, basically. Uh, like if there's something super sad that happened there, it, I'll start to feel sad. That's called being empathic and you will start crying. You might start crying, but I don't ever have that happen unless I'm channeling in past loved ones. And sometimes if my client, I can feel them choking up, it'll make me cry type stuff. But you're, yeah. yeah, you're getting ready to see, I hope, I don't know what's going to happen because I have been, but I've never been on a private investigation. Okay. I've lived in haunted yeah. houses. I've dealt with it. I see things with my eyes on location too. That's something that normally uh, don't happen here either. But uh, um, visually, I see feel it. super comfortable doing it. I'm just interested to see like how it's going to happen in a certain place that I'm not like going and clearing. You see what I'm saying? Open up a whole new vibe for you. Yeah. It may. It may or it might scare the shit out of them. So, yeah. And so, I told you before, Angel, if you're still up here, um, Angel's wife, Ruth. So, yeah. that's, what telling, that's what I was telling you that she has some abilities that I don't even think she understands because I would, I can't wait to meet them. The first time we met Ruth, we had known we met with Angel several times, but Ruth came on an investigation. She goes too, okay. Um, she was communicating with a spirit in the room, and all of a sudden she broke down to tears. Yeah. So she, you know, she, she was talking and she was answering questions like the spirit was talking to her. You know, yeah. we're sitting here like, dude, we're we're supposed to be the professionals here. But um, that thing, you know, like you said, she was really involved to the point where the spirit was a lady and it was needing help. His it, yeah. husband had passed in the building we were in. So it said, I think, is how it went down. Yeah. That's what Ruth was picking up on. And the spirit needed help. And it was bringing Ruth down to, I mean, she was in tears because, you know, she couldn't help. She couldn't help the lady. That was yeah. wild. That was a wild night too, honestly. Yeah. And we didn't feel like we got much out of that place, but we really did. We really, really. So yeah, did. I, I really want you to meet Ruth because uh, she, maybe she knows more about herself than we do. Maybe she knows she does have these abilities. Yeah. That, um, yeah. Maybe she's just holding back on us. Yeah, she holding back. <laughs> it's all right. I can't wait to meet her, and that's something I I can do, but it's not something that. 
that that's where my job and like my purpose kind of like I'm going to have to take a step back, which it's not like I'm overbearing with it. But see, I cross over stuck people. That's what I do, too. That's part of being a medium. That's part of our job. So, you know, you, you can't you really go to a place that's advertising it's haunted and start crossing over everything because then it won't be haunted anymore. Right. <laughs> well, uh, oh, I see what you're saying. You're, you're talking about crossing <laughs> spirits you, uh, i got you yeah yeah so that's kind of something i'm i mean it's not like i do it all the time i don't i don't i mean i only do it when it's necessary or needs to happen and it's not something that happens once a week it's not it's just every once in a while but crossing spirits over is something you just it's something that's a gift i mean it's everybody can technically try to do it and i think everybody has the ability to do it it's just, you know, it's hard because there's just the conversations and things that have to be said and things that have to happen. And it's just kind of up to the spirit what they want to do. You know, there's yeah. free will. You stay behind. There's still free will. And that's why you have really sorry slab ass spirits. Uh -huh. gotcha. Yeah, I, I, I'm learning more all the time. Same. So I've been he, having so he, many downloads like. Uh, the way I get a lot of information is, you know, I do research and stuff like that, but not as much as you would think. A lot of my stuff um, I learn through experiences and I get downloads. I get flashes of insight. I have a, my connection with spirit and I, I'm honored and I'm blessed and it's not a I don't put my pride into it. And I just tell people because it's not to boast. It's to let people know that you can have such a lovely relationship with the divine and just have that discernment. You can get those answers and it's available to everybody. It just will look different for everyone because we're all put here with a certain like way to transmute energy or to interpret energy. When you understand it's not just all about spirits and all that kind of stuff, we're, we're interpreting energy every single day of our lives. Mm -hmm. And when you yeah. understand your way of interpreting energy, it can open up your intuition, but not, but most importantly, discernment. Cause again, I say this all the time, Intuition's great. Discernment is key. And my opinion, we can be born with a certain amount of discernment. And I think everybody's born with a certain amount and it differs. But discernment is something that's not 100% given. It's earned. You don't get discernment when you live in lower vibrations and your ego gets in the way. You don't get that type of spiritual discernment when you don't have good intentions. Unless... What does that mean? Discernment, discernment, the difference is so the discernment is being able to tell. OK, so let's say I get the psychic information about a certain entity. Right. And I can see it and I can like, you know, uh, say, oh, this is this and that is that, you know, it's this. OK, how can I explain this? I see a spirit and I just see it, but I don't know what to do with it. I don't know how and I can use my knowledge based on how I'm feeling or thinking. And I'm left to like, is it this? Is it that? Is it this? Is it that? No, it's discernment gives you the ability to have that connection with spirit to be able to actually understand what you're seeing and dealing with. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like in the Bible, they call it discernment. You have you have a, you you're supposed to discern spirits and not everybody can discern spirits. And it takes a while. And you there's a lot of things that happens, you know, with discernment. And it's a multi leveled type thing, you know, and it comes with knowledge and time and you, when you get into the situation like I'm in and a lot of people are facing it right now, I'm not special. There are so many people doing this right now on different levels. And discernment is something where you can just tell you get the insight on what the difference is. You might have some type of gift or might have some type of ability. But if you can't understand and discern the difference of what is this and that is this is that, then it's it's not that it's not any good. It's just that you're not quite there yet. Yeah. You have to know the difference when you're doing the type of work that I particularly do or just even people that don't do exactly what I do. Because, I mean, again, there's just so many people that are coming online, as I say, and the collective and the veil is thinning. The collective consciousness is shifting because more people are starting to realize that they have a spiritual purpose instead of just the nine to five day in and day out, you know, and it's a beautiful yeah. thing, but it comes with a lot of pain, but it comes with a lot of joy. 
and you know it's like the eclipse the media tried to like get us all in a frenzy of it's going to be earthquakes and there was going to be oh, yeah. natural disasters and there was going to be bombings and no what you saw collectively across the news the day it happened was like people full of energy and excitement and hordes yeah. just all looking yeah. up at this celestial event and even though our ancestors feared it right which would tell us we probably shouldn't look at it no it's a it's it's a beautiful thing of that was given to us from yeah. in my opinion the creator and we're all sitting here yeah. doing something collectively at the same time it raised the vibration and a lot of people are having a great time after so hey that's yeah. all i gotta say about it <laughs> <laughs> i can get on my tangents cool. but i hope it makes sense what i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so Dylan, Dylan asked two questions. The first one was in, in, in our local, I, sh I shouldn't call it local in the hell house we, we've dealt with. You feel like we're dealing with a, not a human spirit there. Yeah. It's I, potential. I, I'm going to lean towards a non-human spirit. I'm going to lean towards that, but I'm not going to say a hundred percent yes until I would be able to look further into it. Cause I, I can tell you like now off the bat and I can give you some pretty good answers, but I have like a certain open, I'm not a hundred percent open right now. So mm -hmm. I haven't went through my spiritual practices to kind of open myself up to be a hundred percent channeling. And that's something I do. So I'm not channeling all the time. So I just come on to kind of hang out and I can do it all the time, but that right. level of, you know, but I'm good. Anyways, Point is, yes, I'm leaning towards potential non-human. And if it is a human spirit, it is definitely 100% a descended human spirit. Descended human spirits gain energy from other people, whatever way it takes or environmental, however they do it. And then they literally get nastier and more vulgar and they have the ability to do a lot. Human spirits can do a lot. So it might be, but if there's like been a summoning, the only thing that's making me think yeah. it might not be human is the summoning part. But I like, I yeah. think there's been yeah, summoning. Absolutely, I do. Yeah, I okay. it's something I'd have to look into. There is Early. way too many daggone symbols painted on that wall inside of the house, not to be some kind of damn summoning going on there in the past yeah I'm, i agree I'm, I'm, yeah when you walk in and you shine a light on these walls covered in all these different symbols and sigils and stuff damn you somebody knew what they were doing when they did that Almost i feel through, like there's blood oh i'm sure there is without a yeah. doubt i'm sure there's blood been shed in that in that place um so Dylan, Dylan also said that we were talking about dolls. How do you feel about the Annabelle doll? I was six inches away from her. You, and she's. Any vibes? Let me get a breath. Uh -oh. When I went, <laughs> when I went, they protect that. They put that doll in a case and they do certain prayers and kind of stuff, you know, and to protect people from the doll. When you walk past Annabelle, I felt nothing. And I was like, I knew better, right? Even though this was three years ago and I was still coming up, I knew better. But I'm like, you know, I just, the initial of like, wow, I'm not feeling inner, anything as an intuitive person is kind of strange. But right next to Annabelle was the witch from the occult museum. It's like the witch with the green nose. If y'all have seen some of the uh, Warren's occult museum items, you'll know which one I'm talking about. And that thing was looking at me literally and intuitively. It was like whatever was in charge of Annabelle wasn't in Annabelle. It was outside of the case. Ooh. Something just touched me. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, it's funny. Uh, my said, hair, all of my hair is pulled forward and it like went. So it's funny. The same time you turned your head to the left, I I didn't tell him. I could have swore I just saw them go right by us in this room. Shit. I'm telling you, I did. But I won't That's why I said, let's take a breath. And I'm going to bring in some light because it's not anything to play with. Let's just get this straight right now. Haunted objects are, are <laughs> they are on a different level than just, I'm telling you. 
Uh, but every time, like, you know, it's something like I felt it. I felt a whoosh of air. It was almost like it wasn't like a touch. It was like this. Like I can kind of recreate it. Like somebody just went. Um, but yeah. Mm. Anyways, um, hold on one second. All right. Now I'm going to get remotely possessed tonight, Dylan. If I get possessed, I'm going to rattle your bag, partner. <laughs> I'll make it go away. It's fine. Uh, I'm going to kick you so I think, we've, I think we've already had plenty of time already that if it was going to happen, it would have happened. We've been in control for the most part. I'm gonna yeah, I mean, there's... Up. there's. Hayes going to be singing Jingle Bells. That's how hard I'm going to kick him. <laughs> yeah, I can't... I mean, y'all can think I lie or whatever. I don't care. I'm not a liar. Like, I'm just going to say that because I'm sure some people probably, and I'm not saying y'all or anybody, that's my regulars, but people that aren't here, I I pride myself in telling the truth because if I did not, I could, there's no absolute way in hell unless I made a pact with darker entities, which I absolutely did not, to get psychic information. If you're a liar, a cheater, if you got low vibrations, if you're, you're scamming people and all that kind of stuff, you will never get the type of information unless you've made pacts with darker beings whether you realize it or not that's just my personal opinion but i 100 percent something it, i mean it could have been a like a moth or something but there's nothing in here flying around i did have a skeeter and i smushed it so unless it like resurrected and that was a couple days ago and i couldn't find its dead body Take so um, unless it resurrected and come back for my ass yes i had some yeah. like a whoosh of air on my back yeah. it went we were talking about that earlier. So the the most humongous mosquito, this is a country bumpkin mosquito. There's one on that wall. Yeah. He's just That's killing a, out being he's, our he's audience. He's two inches in diameter. He's he, being our audience. If he, lands, if he lands on you because you're going to think you're, you, you've been. You got a damn mini helicopter landing on huge. you. It's huge. All right, Dylan, does that answer your question, buddy? Yeah, so Annabelle, uh, right beside, I'm going to eventually release some more of that footage, and I have covered the story, like, mostly all of it, but partial story on my podcast of my experience with Annabelle. It gets a lot deeper, and it gets a lot spookier, and I met Annabelle on October 31st of 2021. And the things that happened, that continued to happen, were kind of crazy, so... Yeah, but do I think that was the Annabelle that just did all that? No, I mean, I I could have been tripping, right? I'll sit here and talk myself out of it. I'm, but I truly felt like something might like, come up behind me. And at the same time, if y'all saw that, then it more than likely it's probably something to do with what we've been talking about the uh, the house or whatever. Mm -hmm. I don't think it has anything to do with Annabelle, but haunted objects they do transverse time and space. I could I could tell y'all some crazy stories. Uh, at a later date, I might wait till I do my video on my crazy story and then I'll share. But it's it's wild. all right, Chastity. <laughs> Dylan, just, Dylan said his apologies, Riley. He's sorry. It's okay. <laughs> all right, you're, you're good, Bart. You're good, partner. So, so this weekend, so, um, do you have do you have like a I know there's, they kind of put a schedule out of, of what are are you getting to speak? No, I, I mean I I didn't get like a form to sign up or anything, but I did put on there that I would. So unfortunately, no, but that's okay. Um, it's my first event, and maybe next time. <laughs> I hear you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, we'll all we'll, maybe we'll all get to meet different people because we we don't know anybody there either. Yeah. Um, so we get to meet you. That's the good part about it. Yeah. We're oh, we're gonna be. Ne I'm gonna pull y'all around with me at least, or at least one of y'all. We're gonna go meet some people. I'm a networking butterfly. Let's go. Hey. There you go. Hey. Quit hollering. I man. I love. Hey. I'm a people person. <laughs> Excuse me. Sir. Me too. I'm yeah. Right, I'm right beside you. I'm sorry. And look, see this microphone. Yeah. She hears you great. I'm sure you don't okay. have to holler at her. Okay. Just dude. because she's four hours from here doesn't mean you have to holler. Okay. I think I heard him out the window. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. So have we spoken to you since uh, we went and cleansed the house a few weeks ago? I think we may have. 
I was so spoken. I, yeah, I, I spoke to Riley, that, but not a I, ton. I mean, okay. not a ton about it. So last Wednesday night would be uh, three or four days after <laughs> you spoke to. Um, we were speaking about. We went and cleansed the home with some things that were happening. You spoke to Brad, uh, who was up here, and you described what you were seeing out his window, a certain light, um, the railroad track, um, the the flooring in his home. So we were able to talk to him after that, and, and you wouldn't believe, Brad, if you're up here, if I say something wrong, let me know. You described it to a T, to the point where they were they were talking about it when we were there. So everybody, she knows what she's doing. <laughs> so, so you described their bedroom. I mean, he said right down to when you look out the window at night, that light she was talking about is right there. You see it. You know, his daughter was, you know, she was blown away. To you. Every, we all were. Just think yeah. that Brad said he's here. So Brad, did, so, so tell Chastity. You tell her. Did she describe your room? Even the, the, the ceiling and the attic that, that uh, something bad is, you know, something bad may may or may not have happened in that attic of that home. And yeah. he hears what they, what they call it. What have they nicknamed the lady who lives in the attic? Oh, uh, uh, God. I, can't I, that. Know, I forgot. What's her name, Brad? It wasn't Bathsheba like the conjuring oh, house, was it? It was something like something that. Like that. The something woman. <laughs> anyway. I'm it's curious. a cross between Big Bertha and Bathsheba. Bathsheba. <laughs> Uh, and she uh, said she didn't like that because I totally connected with that woman. Oh, Chastity, the Babushka woman. Babushka. There it is. Yeah. Babushka. I'm hollering too, and I ain't trying to. That's <laughs> awesome. The Babushka. The Babushka. So, so Brad, now that you have a little more, um, probably confidence, and and you've been talking about it. Have you had any discussions with uh, Babushka woman in the last week? Is anything happening with her? Has she been active and or dormant? <laughs> the fact I that ask. I saw her and acknowledged her, I mean, she might have been. She might have been active if you provoked her, but I would assume since I saw her and acknowledged her, it might have let her rest a little bit because she's still there. It's not like she's gone. I didn't cross her or nothing. So I wonder, I have to wonder, we were talking about it. and, and That's just my, I want to get that out before he types. I mean, that's kind of how I'm feeling, but I could be wrong, but I'm definitely not as tapped right now or tapped in as I was last week, but I connected with that house. And the fact that I connected with his house means that there is something paranormal there. Because if somebody asks me a question and I really don't get a whole lot on it, and I don't, I mean, that pretty much means that there's nothing, there might be something there like residual energy, but there's nothing super duper conscious. Right. Um, yeah. So if, yeah. So there's but something yeah. definitely haunting his house. <laughs> He said, I, I hear noises in my attic and bedroom walls every night. Yeah. What? I'm going to go, Chastity, I'm going to go outside real quick. She she probably doesn't care if you go outside. All I right. You go outside I'll see you. I'll see you in a bit. All right. Well, you, I'll be right. Oh, God, Daddy, that's my kneecap. <laughs> oh, bless your heart. Are you all right? Oh, he's good. He's, he's, uh, He's so, having a he's having a moment right this minute. So that's it, okay. Well, Take your time. I'll hang around for a little bit longer, guys. I feel halfway decent right now. So I'll now, probably hang now, on here for about another uh, fifteen minutes or so, and then I'm gonna hop off because I got to get to beating and I got to actually do some more. Uh, oh no, I got to share some bummer news. Um, some let me see if I can pull it up. My my beautiful. Um, USPS wants uh, over two hundred dollars for a six foot banner, and they can suck my big toe. What kind? Of, what kind of banner? A six foot by two and a half foot banner. So I'm going to contact a local person, uh, somebody local that can help me maybe get it a little cheaper. Because I'm not. That's about all the money I'm probably going to make <laughs> at the event. So I can't spend all that so, on a banner. I'm going to get something, but it's not going to be what I need. So send me your image and. Um, I print them for 90 bucks. Six foot by two and a half? Well, it'll be six foot by three. 
three foot three it's actually three by eight and if you shrink it down to three by six it'll be uh sixty dollars Okay, because um, let I'll talk to you. I'll just after we get off live, I'll send you the image and see what we can work on. Because uh, if y'all are coming, you know, to the event and everything, then I could just grab it then and I'll pay you. I'll cash up yeah, you or Venmo you or something. We can. We'll, we'll be glad to bring it. Uh, if you know what you want, you can send it. Send it to me. Email it to us or whatever. And uh, oh, it's we'll designed. It, we'll get it. It's ready. Tomorrow. Yeah, I had. I got. I, we printed two uh, over the weekend. So Brad okay. said, uh, Susan and Tammy. Tammy is very uh, one of our friends. We we've, we've investigated her home before, and we we can't come to the conclusion that I told you it was her her brother who had passed long ago that was still there. Um, but she both of these ladies say they see um, shadows walking through their their house a lot. It doesn't surprise me because if it was an orphanage, like you have all that children energy and all that sad energy that's left over there. I mean, if y'all are down with living with this, you know, that's cool. But if y'all want to try to like clear it out a little bit and let some of this go, let me know. And like, I'm going to try to make a trip out that way, maybe like on the way to the beach or even just a trip to come out there and just say hello one day because it's not that far for me. I think it's only like two and a half hours from winston so i mean i i could come out there and help y'all with that it's just the my biggest problem is i have an old vehicle and it's the only vehicle we had so my vehicle i bought a brand new kia soul in 2015 i bought it in 2014 it was nice it was great that some bitch burst into flames by itself wow. in 2017 it took me five years to get a dime out of that company. And by the time oh. that I got a dime out of that company, because I always had a car. I haven't, I've been carless for the last seven years. And then, you know, my disability and stuff like uh, where I'm partially disabled. I, this is my job, which I'm not complaining. I'm blessed spirit and the people that support me have been more than I'm more than grateful for the support that I get. So I'm not, I want to make that very clear why I say this. This is not a pitiful oh, yeah. party me. I'm just telling you what happened. Like my car exploded. If my children were in the car, um, uh, they would have died. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Nick was able to get out. He was able to get out in time and he calls me at work. Um, and yeah, my car burnt to the ground. So we have a vehicle, but it's a shared family vehicle and it's like older. So I have like a limited distance I can go. So I can go like a couple hours on either side. I can kind of like push it a little bit, but it's, it's getting to the point where we kind of have to like save the last little life of it. My, I'm manifesting besides like a couple other things ahead of it. I'm manifesting a car in my life. I'm going to get me a car. By the first of 2025, I'm going to work very hard and I'm getting me a dang car. I don't care what it looks like as long as it will get me where I need to go. And um, I'm going to make it happen because it's still I got to file my taxes and all that kind of stuff. And it's kind of personal information. But you know what? It's not anything that everybody else has to do. But like, that's just yeah. one of my goals. And I'm letting everybody know now because like I could have done been doing stuff uh that's a little further out but that is the 100 percent reason why i don't get to go too far like i, I can do stuff um so like to go to like bushy mountain you know i would love to do that on my own or with a group don't matter right but i can't get there right yet because i don't want to run the risk of getting out to tennessee and that's some bitch we're breaking going, down you know there. oh what's yeah, that no, we're going to get you there. So right now, Monster, we're needing that sponsorship. Chastity needs a car, and down south needs a motorhome. Yeah, Where you Monster <laughs> Energy. So, we thought the whole time, what better energy drink to sponsor down south than our Monster? Yeah. Right? Because that's what we deal with sometimes. I mean, I, I support them 100% of the time. We will work on that, too. <laughs> <laughs> you want it? We'll so work on it. So Tammy but yeah, I mean, that. I know I'll be able to get one eventually. And, you know, it's not it's not a, a need. Right. I don't absolutely need it right now. It's just something that's going to further my career. I know I'm going to get one and my due time is something I'm going to put more energy in. And I'm highly grateful because every time I, I'm in need of something, you know, divine spirit always provides some way, shape or form. Mm -hmm. I do absolutely. not lack. 
that's the beautiful thing about, you know, having faith and in, in my opinion and knowing that I will always be taken care of. Right. That's why I try yeah. not to stress. Uh, but I'm just telling y'all this because this is why I'm not able to go and film locations and stuff, even for just my personal channel. So uh, it's not something I ever talked about publicly. And it's, you know, it's been so many years ago. It don't affect me anymore like that. And we're able to get what we need. But once I get my vehicle, I'm going to go see Emily. I'm going to be like on the weekends when I'm going to, my kids uh, are gone. I'm going to drive up Pennsylvania and go say, Hey, my friend or other people, you know, like I'm trying to plan a trip out West. And that is my goals for this year. Well, we're, we're all going to pray for it to happen. Thank we you. Need happen. We need and we'll contact happen. monster. Well, con I've, I've sent him one letter with no response. And I, and I didn't follow through honestly, because I told Riley, I'm going to send him a letter every week until one of them responds. I have not done that. So I lied. Yeah. I, lied. Yeah. I, did send, I did send one letter. Yeah. And they're kind of getting a little bit woke. Sorry, guys, if you're woke, I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. I'm saying what I'm saying. But say what so you got to say. They're so far you know, behind the woke and staying politically correct these days. It's really, it's kind of making me not care about them anyway. But, uh, uh, anyway, I'm over here. I can hear you. I love monster. I know you like monster. But, I mean, uh, I I work. I like monster. <laughs> yeah, I like I liked monster, and I like. Then I went to Celsius, and now I've I've cut myself off because it gave me tachycardia. Oh my! Dealing, so, dealing. So Dylan works for a beverage company, and he's he's starting. And he likes it's called Buck Duck. Is a new energy drink. <laughs> he said we need a sponsorship from Buck Duck. We don't care where it comes from. Get us yep. one, get either us that one. or Twitch. Is that yeah. Twitch Energy? Yeah, you drank one the other yep. day. Oh, yeah, Twitch, sorry, Twitch. Yeah, <laughs> We're all we walking around kicking, you know. Yeah, yeah. Going paranormal investigating will look possessed. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's like that was a ghost. That's, That's, <laughs> That's the good. real crack water. They put literal <laughs> substances in it. Oh god! <laughs> that, That's a all right, my my too. live time's getting short, y'all. I'm starting to come out in my box. You better cut me off. You know, uh -oh. it's time to hit the end button. Uh -oh. You know. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Dylan said, "Good old bucked up." So, Tim, Miss Tammy Ipop, um, like I said, we helped her figure out what's going on in her house, but she has been seeing spirits since she was two years old. So, she, Miss Tammy, like I told you before, you probably definitely have some uh, some senses that she's actually said she would go out with us sometime. We probably need to take her up on that. Yeah, but she's not scared for sure. I can help. That's what I, I'm an intuitive guidance coach. So that's part of like my services and stuff. And I can break them down too, like, cause I, I mean, it, it is my job, right? But the only service I offer for free, I have tons of free content, tons of free information out uh, on my podcast. Like we do a lot of work for free, especially paranormal work. I do not charge for that um, because I just don't have the heart to. That's not something I feel you charge for to help people get better, you know. But when yeah. it comes to like learning and stuff and all that kind of stuff, that's what I do. I'm an intuitive guidance coach. So I can help people identify their natural born intuitive gifts uh, yeah. with astrology too. So you can always reach out to me, uh, or I can give you some information to my content and people are always welcome to ask me questions. I don't like charge for questions. You can always just, you know, ask me a question if you got one and in the comments and I generally am able to answer it, you know? Um, so I just want to make that very clear to anybody that has questions. I'm open to answering questions, but you know, if it's like a cert, like service, if you know, 30 minutes to an hour, that's different. Right. But questions, I, I love answering questions. So All send right, them yeah. to me. There, there you go, Susan. And, uh, Miss Tammy, you heard it from Chastity. Hit her up with a message and, uh, she might put you in tune to what you have going on. Yeah. And I don't mind helping, you know, I don't mind helping people, you know, with questions and a couple, I mean, even a couple questions like, Hey, why would this happen? Like I might not be able to give you the full details, but I can give you, you know, I can, if I can't help you. I can give you some direction. Right. I, I try to be as helpful as possible, you know, and 
Um, if I could do all this work for free, I absolutely would. Like if I, if I could, if I hit the lottery, the world's going to (laughs) change, you know, like I'm ready to give back. I'm, I'm a giver. I like to, I like to help. Like I don't mind. So that's just my way of saying, you know, if there's a question you want to ask me, uh, you know, just a general question, I'm happy to answer. I'm not that go. type of person. You know what I'm saying? I, I want to help yeah. um, any way that I can. Mm-hmm. And we do, we're the same way. Yeah. I, I keep saying, cause I don't play the lottery, but I, I feel like if I would, I'd make a lot of people happy. <laughs> the school <laughs> system. <laughs> nah. <laughs> you, know, you know, I'm joking. Cause it plays for the school system, you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We just donate to the school area. system. Yeah, the schools in our area. Um, That's up. Uh, now back toward Raleigh, back on the other side of ninety five, they have um, high schools that look like small colleges. So, so someone's definitely getting some of that money that way. But it's not in Eastern North Carolina. That's for sure. Yeah. Right. And if I win the lottery. Down south, getting paid, and Bill Chapel's getting the next flight over to East Carolina. We don't need Bill Chapel. We just hire Angel straight up. Oh yeah, well, <laughs> I, that's right. I'm buying Angel out. Of, I'm gonna pay Angel's job that's to what fire Angel, him. That's what Angel would like to do. He would like to uh, be a paranormal investigator and a uh, paranormal equipment designer and builder for his full time job too. That would be neat. Yeah. I'm going to pay Angel's job to fire him if I win the lottery so he can work <laughs> for me full time designing new equipment. Gotcha. That would be awesome. Well, let's, hope, let's, let's, at least maybe somebody, somebody we know will win it. Yeah. Cut D- it. Dylan needs it too because Dylan's got a new baby coming next month. So, yeah. Dylan, I know you need it, buddy. We know we got to Congratulations. Help we got to help Big Deal first. The squeal, um, Big Deal is going to be squealing here shortly. Yeah, if we, don't help, if we don't help Big Deal, he might let out a good squeal. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Autumn uh-huh. Moon says she, we, we, she wants to see us all investigate together and teach. We're definitely going to try. Like Our first investigation, I think you might know, Autumn. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure you do by now, is uh, April 20th. So we'll be meeting up uh, in Hickory, North Carolina and investigating the place that the Hunger Games, where some of the Hunger Games was filmed. It's Henry, uh, Henry River Mills, right? Correct. Yeah. I'm not looking into the information yet. I don't want to know anything yet. So I only know just a tiny bit about it. And I've seen some pictures and Barb, um, she wants to know, like, why do you have dreams of people passing before it happens? Because that's called, um, precognition and a lot of times that kind of stuff does come in dreams that's kind of like the best way to have precognitive dreams so it's the same thing of like predicting uh, a tornado or predicting a storm like i would have precognition it just means that you're in touch with your you're more in touch with your subconscious while you're sleeping because you're unconscious so you're able to pull in information from the collective or it's spirit's way of showing you and preparing you because potentially barb if it was just to come out of nowhere left field it's almost um this is what spirit saying okay so i don't know it might be accurate it might not but basically it prepares you more like you think it's going to happen and instead of it being a complete sudden shock to your nervous system literally like it might be a way to prepare you um it's not anything you can do to stop it some people think it's cruel you know and stuff like that and then the fan uh, uh, amid amid audacity. The new fan uh, come from Connie, uh, one of my subscribers. She uh, bought this for me and a nice gift off of my wish list, which I was totally not expecting. And Dana got me some essential oils, so I got a huge fan now. I ain't never getting hot again. <laughs> <laughs> It's beautiful too, and like Dana and Connie, uh, super sweet, and everybody that I want to, I want to take a moment right now and say thank you for everybody that joined my live Sunday. We talked about the eclipse; it was a lot of fun, and I'm going to try to incorporate new moon and full moon like uh, lives every month on my channel too. But I just wanted to take a moment. 
here to say thank you for everybody and uh thank you guys too um down south supernatural for joining my facebook group it's not anything big yet but we're trying to develop a community too kind of like y'all where people can ask questions and feel free to anybody that wants to join the lights at midnight podcast yeah. uh paranormal and psychic group or whatever we're just trying to create a nice place just like they have down south a uh, supernatural's page too. go follow them on facebook we're still we're still trying we're trying to grow it we probably do not do its honor enough we probably should work on it a little yeah. bit more but it, and, it's really you know hard. and the people in it, it you know it's hard because they're not everybody facebook don't push nothing you have to push That's it and right. push it and push it you know <laughs> and, and and we can sit we can sit here and push it push it push it a thousand mm -hmm. times but i'm really curious as far as like our our members how many of them are actually seeing it i don't oh, know i didn't it. I don't for a long time i didn't until yeah, I, the, I, I did i saw it at first and then i didn't see it again until i saw the post where one of y'all said we have a thousand members and why is nobody not participating and i wrote yeah. down i said we don't we don't see it and it was almost like you had to get kind of snappy with facebook and not necessarily your followers but with facebook before they're like oh shit, we got to catch up you know <laughs> yeah yeah so that, and that part really bothers me um that, it's a pay and play game and yeah i yeah. hate that um, yeah it's like we're, we're puppets we're, we're being played Absolutely. i love that song what master of puppet yeah i like that song too i was talented yeah oh dylan said once we get our youtube channel going strong watch out paranormal world <laughs> yeah 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 i hear you dylan Dylan, there's the, there's the help right there. You're looking at it. It or her? Her. I don't know if you saw that something behind her shoulder back there. I'm trying to figure out what I just saw back there. Yeah. Um, I, I saw, it could be my shadow. I did I kind of feel something it. again. I, yeah. Uh, when you turn a little while ago, just right, it looked like a big eyeball on the wall. I saw the eye. Oh, it is. Oh crap! It is. That's what. I'm, oh God! I said I'm seeing things, dude. She turned just right. You're like, yeah, cat side. That's that's not sloppy. <laughs> that's not slightly creepy at all. <laughs> it glows in the dark really well. It's pretty cool. Somebody yeah. Said, all I have is I don't have my big light on, but I have my little lamp. I just didn't feel like setting up my little astronaut tonight. But I have a sign that says haunted over here and it's just for looks. I have to like mess with it and I'm working on, I've got to get my room reorganized and bring in my filming area because when I get my filming area set up the way that I want it, it's going to look like outside was brought inside. I'm going for like a uh, Gothic fairy core. Like I live in a terrarium. So like the stuff that I make, yeah. I want like, I want mushrooms and I want moss and I want, like gothic chandeliers i don't know i'll figure it out one day Maybe but either not. way kind of witchy vibes i'm going for that kind of yeah. filming area <laughs> yes i agree with that chastity i'm gonna like come out of the mist or something i'm gonna have a fog oh, machine yeah. and every time i go live there's gonna be mist shooting and i'm just gonna emerge from it like this with wings uh, or some shit. i don't know i'm kidding yeah. about that but <laughs> <laughs> that's neat chastity <laughs> Chastity. Yes, sir. When you come out of that mist, you better be wearing some badass snake skin boots. I would love to. I would love to. I need to get me. I need to like do my wings. And not. I'm not trying to make fun of anybody that does that. I love beautiful makeup and I love wings and all kinds of stuff like that. I, I really do. But it's not something I would do personally uh, for like lives and stuff. Maybe if I was yeah. at like a um, show or something, you know, or some type of festival, I would. But um, yeah. everything else about the whole like living in a terrarium type feel, that's going to happen. But the mist, maybe not so much. Maybe like a nice like neon light or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, I was game for the mist idea. That would be cool. Yeah, let's, let's light this candle, baby. Somebody can do it. You know what? Sure. When I get my tent set up, we have like one of those fog light they are foggers. And if that shit didn't stink so bad, uh, V was like, yeah, we need that for the tent. And I'm like, yeah, but it smells. <laughs> All right. So who's, who's going with you this weekend? Who are you bringing? 
uh, my fiance and my sister and maybe uh, my best friend uh, is coming. So, and I've contacted them multiple times and I'm not trying to say anything bad, but I'm trying to upgrade my space because I initially signed up for a 10 by 20 and they only sent me a, a, a what's it called? An invoice for a 10 by 10 space because I'm not only selling my jewelry, I'm providing readings too. So, and I could yeah. look in my email right now. I need to look because um, they're like offering extra space and I've contacted them. I think this is my fourth email. So I'm hoping that it's in there. It is not. So I'm trying to get an extra space because I'm having to shove like a reading space and selling my jewelry in a 10 by 10 space. And luckily yeah. enough, I got experience with this, but it's still going to be tight. It's going to be tight, but I'll be able to pull it off if I have to. I want to pay the extra thirty dollars yeah. because I have a ten by ten tent and I have a ten by twenty tent, so right. it would just be better. But I don't know why they won't take my money. Take my money, Trivet Clinic Center. <laughs> I'm really curious where everybody's going to be there because that place is not large at all. Even outside, um, it's, yeah. it's fairly small. I guess it depends on how many people are setting up. I'm just curious to see how it all works out. As they were saying, they want you to pull up and drop your stuff off and go park somewhere because there's no, you may could park two or three cars around that building, uh, yeah. around, around, I call it a home. Now, it's, it's, it's not as big as you perceive it to be there. I not don't know of, how they're going to fit. How, where are these people going to park? I have no clue. That's that's up I, and down the highway. I reckon Lou, there's no that's not going to be good. Work. Yeah, there's no yeah. shoulders. That's not going to work. I guess we'll find out Saturday. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that might be a conversation off camera because I ain't trying to make it look bad or nothing like that. But just yeah. from past experience, like when you host an event like this and you have to sell tickets, I guess they have a cap on tickets and I don't think they've sold them all. But generally, if 270 people say on Facebook they're going, you can at least plan on doubling that. So we're yeah. expecting probably 500 people at least. And I mean, I North Carolina that. don't get this kind of stuff. So they're everybody's excited, yeah. you know, and it's inexpensive. Yeah. So. That's good. I'm, I was curious because I don't see any ads or anything floating around. I was concerned that there may not be a lot of people. So I, I, it'll be exciting if there is. Yeah. Yeah. I hope we'll so. see. We, we've been we've been doing our best to talk about it, and push it for months. Yeah. Me we, too. Yeah. We we didn't just start pushing it and talking about it. We've been doing it since Riley figured out he was he wanted to do it. So yeah. yeah. Yeah, since I got invited in what? It's been last year sometime. Yeah, last year. Yeah. The same people who invited have it have it uh been no contacts since the inside. So. I think yeah. they're a little overwhelmed to be a hundred percent honest. And um oh, yeah. when I go there, I would love to meet these folks because uh, again, I've been in the event industry for 10 years and if they want to start really doing this, I would love to try to help them any way that I can be successful to do that. Yeah. And I'm going to, so, I, I have considered reaching out to them after the event to see if they would need any extra help for either next year or another event. It's not really about like the money thing to me, you know, it's not about that. If that happens, cool. If not cool, but um, like I want to help because that's something I wanted to do is something I haven't talked about publicly, but Emily, the fine art medium and like my close family and friends know, like I want to plan events for haunted. I want to do haunted stuff events. I was like, that was kind of on my goal for 2025 that I'm trying to, I've got a couple locations in mind that I would like to host like a Paracon or a Parafest or a place where we can all get together. Um, so I'm going to talk to these folks and kind of see their thoughts, you know, because it's something I would like to do as well. Um, and I mean, it's nothing like super private, but it's something that I have a goal to do. So, next so year, we were contacted yeah. already and uh, he was actually on our live last week, last Wednesday. Uh, is his name Robert? Uh, I'm terrible with names. I'm sorry. Uh, but the fellow who's in charge of Robbie Spencer, Robbie Spencer. Um, he has a paranormal team. Um, anyway, at the Trevet Clinic, not Trevet Clinic, at the Devil's Tramping Ground, they're they're going to do a Paracon there next year. So Perfect. they're already working to set it up. So that would be good. Have you ever been there, Devil's Tramping Ground? 
Nope. Um, when I say that I've not been, but to a couple places, that's facts. Like outside of that, I have done all my work remotely 100%. The only way wow. I've got to experience paranormal investigations has been through the TV or in my in my personal like experiences, which has been very vast, but not like out in public or out and in the, the Trevette, Trevette Clinic. You've not been there either. Uh -uh. No, she hasn't been there. No. Nope. And I don't know. I haven't looked into that either because I wanted to. I, my, the plan was to go there and investigate prior to the event, but that obviously hasn't happened. So and I'm going to be so busy that day that I'm actually going to have to. I feel like I am and I just feel that way. And I'm going to have to block out time to be able to network myself. So since it's an eight hour long event, I'm at least going to take a one hour break in the middle for like lunch and talking to people and maybe even like meditating and trying to reset myself because it can be dangerous if I don't. Not to say I can do it. Don't get me wrong. Spirit's been giving me people to like do readings for and be in communication with. Like I channeled probably for five hours straight yesterday and my mind wasn't tired. Um, my body was more tired than my mind. And that's just because I have, uh, you know, scoliosis, degenerative disc, arthritis. And if I'm constantly like moving or doing or sitting up like this, I have to take breaks. So mm -hmm. I, I really need like a little blow up couch. That's why I need my 20, my 10 by 20, because I was going to put like one of those blow up couches in there in case I got a back spasm. I could zip myself up, lay back, rest for five minutes and reset myself. I know that sounds crazy, but that's the things yeah, I have I to think of with my problems. I so. <sighs> At least the weather's supposed to be pretty. It, it went yeah. from uh, a chance of rain last week to. 72 degrees and sunny Saturday, which is nice. I'm excited. It's not going to be too hot. I even got little mini fans that I'm charging up for my hormonal. I, I probably bring this some bitch too, though. <laughs> Fine, you did me a solid, babe, because I'm going to need this this weekend. I'll be able to swipe away all the negative energy if anybody brings any. <laughs> yeah, we ain't got time for all that. No. Nah, uh, yeah. What's up? Where's my phone? There it is. Um, I'll show you my banner really fast. It's super darn cute. If I can find uh, it. I mean, it's right here. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's not quite all of it, but my phone, my other phone's going dead too. Okay. But yeah, that's my banner. So you're going to, I caught that'll be vertical. You're going to hang it vertical. Yeah. I like that. Now, do you have a, uh, uh, banner stand, you're going to clamp that too? Mm hmm So you don't need grommet holes in it? Yes, I will need the grommets to clip it to the stand. So the stand okay. has hooks. Uh-huh. And if not, I will, I can make that happen. If I just get it printed, I, I, I went to school for graphic arts and imaging technologies, believe it or not, and the only time it helps me is with this type of stuff, and then the planning and like the socials and stuff. So I know a lot times have changed but i never got super duper into it y'all give me one second i've got to turn off my camera and plug up my phone gotcha when this is acting not that is that night he night. might not even be on tonight yeah yeah we're going we miss supper that's what we missed yeah uh -huh. That's exactly what we missed. I'm curious. There's so many. I start looking at the people who got on the live, and there's so many people that used to get on all the time who don't anymore. I know. Stuff like that concerns me. I mean, I'm happy with all the new people. Yeah. You can't hear her? Are you muted? Yeah. Oh, you are muted? It was, I was muted, yeah. Oh. My bad. She was passing some gas. She didn't want you to hear Dylan. What me? <laughs> what me? <laughs> it was the ghost. Yeah, it was but, the um, ghost in there behind her that daddy saw. I, I saw something. They saw a little phenomenon back there. Don't well, surprise me. The funny thing is she spelt something and I saw something move in here. Mm-hmm. 
That's what I was telling. You really know what? what about. Okay. So sometimes that'll happen. Like I take on other people's paranormal experiences. So could I have been feeling, cause we're talking right now. Um, sometimes I take on those types of feelings and stuff from people. Like, um, I, if like paranormal experiences. So if they have a paranormal experience, I'll see something in my house and it'll never be seen again. It's almost like it's a psychic experience. That's so weird. It, it is it weird. Was, it wasn't black. It wasn't anything, but I saw something caught my eye moving right dead in front of us. There's no know? animals in my room. I have uh, autumn. I, there's no animals in here at all. I did have a cat that passed away last year that was black. So, but I don't feel anything awful. And my shadow too, this light ring could be like my shadow. So if I do this or that, but um, oh, yeah, have, no shadows. Oh. Other than that big eye. I just saw that big eye again. And all I see in here is that damn mosquito hawk on the wall up there. And steroids. It's huge. Yeah, yeah. them old some bitches. <laughs> I'm I mean, looking at my, I'm sorry guys, in the in my chat, I've been chatting and I need to catch up. I'm going to look through them real fast. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, it's a pleasure on. being here though all the time. Dry Ice, uh, um, admit audacity, you changed your name, I still get it wrong. I, I thought about that too. Um, as long, but if I zip up the tent, then I might die. Like for real, <laughs> like it can take all the CO2. So I thought about it maybe like in the open space. <laughs> I don't want to be talking to a ghost. I don't want to become a ghost, so I'm talking to the ghost. But I have thought about it. That's what V was saying. Um, yeah. yeah. That'd be cool. I still think it'd be cool. What? The, uh, the, the, the smoke, the fog. The yeah. Mist. Yeah. It's working awesome. I'm going to get me some theme music just for when I meet y'all. I'm going to have me some theme music ready and a dry ice in my hand. I'll be like, I'm here. <laughs> mystical, the magical, the actually really normal and weird chastity. <laughs> I am just a normal person, I promise. I, I don't fart like glitter. I'm not a unicorn. Um, <laughs> I'm just a normal person with normal problems. Yeah. I just so happen to be able to pick up extrasensory uh, information. So, think, yeah, you definitely can do that. I'm, I'm a yeah. believer in that. And also, that's the only several, difference. Several people I have met, like I keep talking about, that have those probably not as strong as yours, but they have those abilities and they don't even know it. So, no, so it I, might be they may be stronger than me if they tap into them. And you know, I, I know there's people much better than me out there, and there's people that are. We're all in different places, and I don't, I don't really know. <laughs> I'm just excited to see where it's going to go. Uh, third, I mean, Saturday, this Saturday and next Saturday. I'm excited yeah. to see what we're going to get. I am too. Yeah, absolutely. So since you said you're not all that special, so you're telling me your farts smell like Skittles. <laughs> Cotton candy. Because, you know, candy. girls fluffy. I know. I Have y'all ever heard that? Girls don't fart. We fluffy. So it has to be something. If it's fluffy, it's like a cloud. So cotton candy. Uh, my fiance told me his shit definitely don't stink today. And I disagreed. So. Yeah, I can. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's my, that's been the joke running in my family. I had to think about what it was because we would always say girls don't fart. They fluffy. After a long term relationship, all that changes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I've had two long term relationships. I'm going to tell you what, you talk about the craziest stuff. It's so funny. We were out in public and he was chasing me around. I was trying to park the car in front of the store today and picking up water and trying to get home because we had to go get dinner or whatever because I had to do this. And uh, we went out, got dinner, got water. And I was trying to like get around, but then there's a screaming kid and a car backing out. So I stopped and I go around the parking lot and come back and he's like chasing me with the Bucky cussing. He's like, uh -huh. why don't you not just park? And like long-term uh -huh. relationship. Uh -huh. <laughs> it was cute. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh man. Uh, but yeah, um, I guess I'm going to call it a night guys. And I want to thank uh, yeah, everybody uh, uh, that, 
has come out and it's always a pleasure interacting with your followers and i'm hoping that everybody's like swapping and checking out everybody's content yeah, and um yeah. we'll be live again tomorrow at 11 30 with dead serious investigations um i've got to get that thumbnail completed duran and sent to you so we can set it up and we'll start kind of pushing that too out on socials just to make sure um the link will be for duran's channel uh, i encourage everybody you can pick wherever you want to watch it you know you can there'll be all three channels so we'll have um you know you'll find you'll find it no matter what it's going to be in one of the channels so we'll get all that information together and uh, yeah i'm gonna hop off here guys i hope y'all have a good night when you get that link if you can share it with riley or on down south Page. yeah Okay. Because I know he'll yep. be awake and I'll try to stay awake. Have y'all ever, um, well, this will be a question off camera, but I'll just ask it now. Have y'all ever uh, joined somebody else's live? Um, I used to. Okay. Well, you'll share it. You can, I'll talk to y'all about that uh, in the in messenger. I'll send you a little message just okay. as a heads up. All right, Chastity. All, All right. right. Love and light, Thank everybody. You. You're welcome. Bye, bye, everybody. So I guess that's going to be it for Down South, too. Uh, we've had yeah. a long one tonight, guys. Thank yeah, you, everybody, for getting on as usual. Usual. We really, we really all, appreciate everybody. it. everybody. And we know you guys love Chastity. She's awesome. We all get to uh, – yeah. we'll get a chance to meet her face-to-face uh, -face this weekend, which is exciting. Um, so, yeah, check us out. Um if you go, it's a long ways, but Hamptonville at the Trebek Clinic will be there this weekend from uh, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Yeah, it will um, definitely be worth a drive. So, anyway, we appreciate it, everybody. Dylan, we'll probably ask what time we're going to leave. We'll probably be leaving, I'm guessing, no later than 5 a.m. It's a little over, what, three and a half hour drive. They want yeah. people there at 8 o'clock to start unloading all your stuff. Yeah. Uh, you got to unload your stuff, drop your stuff off, whatever you're bringing, and go park somewhere else. So um, I think it'll be interesting. Very small place for a lot of anticipated people. Yeah. So we'll see how it goes. We're excited about it either way. Yeah, we are. Uh, anyway, thanks, everybody, and for getting on and lay it out, buddy. And until this next time we until the next time we go live, which I will keep the page updated about, you can all catch us at that down big down south, south out. out. Later, y'all.